Okay, and welcome back. So we've now built the, uh, what we're dubbing uh, HD1, Stargate 1. For those of you that don't uh, know, it's like our Stargate into the office. So everybody that comes in from the main door here must walk into this reception area and through the Stargate there. So the good thing with this device is it's a combined metal detector with thermal screening. If you don't want the metal detector function like we don't here, we've actually turned it off via the LCD screen, which I'll show you shortly. But as you can see, I've got a black body here. Uh, fitted within that uh, distance uh, measured between the camera and the black body. It's important that we chose the black body to improve the accuracy from 0 0.5 to 0 0.3. And again, we do urge that you uh, use the black body uh, where possible. The reason being is obviously we've got the outside door here, entrance lobby. We want this to be as accurate as possible and the least false positive was results as possible. Um, again, if you go and sunbathe out in the car park there, it's been lovely weather here in the UK. So if you do go out into the car park and sunbathe for 30 to 40 minutes, then come in, then there's a chance that your elevated skin temperature uh, will trigger the camera, the gate will flash, and obviously then we'll have to uh, isolate ourselves a couple of minutes and go back through it when we're more stable. Repeated uh, alarm activations will cause us to use our secondary line screening, and there we have a handheld. And again, if that's a positive, so we get three, three positives on the gate and a positive on the handheld, then we'll speak to the individual, see if there's a, you know, a, a common reason, like they've just done a 5K run uh, on their dinner, then um, it's obvious that there's a very good chance their skin temperature is going to be elevated. Now, again, this is our first line screening device. There's lots and lots of information out there around these solutions. Uh, you know, if you need further clarity or help, then you can speak to us or Hike Vision, or there's a lot of people out there who will be able to assist you. This isn't a fever detection system. This is a temperature detection system. So we're detecting elevated temperature that's based on the surface of the skin, uh, which is just one indication that the person could be uh, have you know symptoms of the illness, not just uh, coronavirus, but it could be the common flu also, because the high elevated temperature is also associated to other um, uh, flu-like symptoms, which could be common flu or coronavirus, etc. So this is just one of many solutions out there that's available, and one that we felt was most practical for our building. So if I just put you back there, you can see the LCD screen. As I go through that, the LCD screen will tell me, if I zoom in on this, as I go through this, you'll see the LCD screen will change to my temperature. So you can see there, 36.5 degrees. If I move back, It'll clear that. And again, as I go through, so the temperature will always be shown there. And you'll also, each time somebody walks through the gate, you get the count. So you'll see the count and the alarm figures there. So those figures will adjust. So these are the amount of alarms we've had. Obviously, we was testing and calibrating yesterday, and these are the amount of uh, walkthroughs that we've had. Now, I've chose to turn the metal detector function off, um, but if I zoom you back out, what you'll see with this solution, if I take a glass of freshly prepared hot water and simulate an alarm on my forehead, So again, you get the camera visual and audible on there, plus the gate alarms. So that'll go red. So it's backed up by the two devices together. And what you'll see there is the alarm temperature has got it from 36 to 37. It'll read my temperature if I show that. So it's showing 61.3 degrees. Uh, and the fire door just shut. <laughs> How apt. Um, again, so the temperature of this water was from an urn. So it's about 75 degrees when I pour this, so it's very quite accurate. Uh, 36.5 degrees detected, the alarm at the gate goes, plus the alarm on the camera. And what actually happens now is um, on my phone, there's a group of us individuals, let's say, and you'll see on my phone, I've got an email with the images. So the email shows the temperature of the color and also the thermal image. So then we can go and isolate that person and then ask them to retest. So our, our procedure here is if the, there's only a small amount of people in the building, 
But if this gate does trigger, then we expect them to go around the corner in the holding area for a couple of minutes, retest. If it goes again, stand around there. And again, the emails will be sent to the, a group of individuals where we can then go and speak to the individual, second line screen them and take it from there. So everybody's procedure will differ. Uh, we could use a minimo, um, but we've decided for the gate. The good thing with this gate is, like I said, if you want the metal detect the function, it adds that uh, layer in as well but it gives a portal into the building. So what it actually does for us is it's quite, fits around the door frame, quite neat. It's a forceful action, so you have to walk through it. Uh, again, you could put tensile barriers uh, off it uh, into the direction. So you're making people and tunneling that flow of traffic underneath the gate. So obviously the camera with the black body will screen people as they walk through the gate. And it does sort of create that focal point for an entry into a site. Again, you can force people through it rather than having a sort of large uh, access area across the site. So it has its purposes. When you've taken out the flat pack, it's a simple two panels, two cross members and a metal plate there. They bolt together, screw in. It takes about 30 minutes to fit it. So these screw into the side, the cables connect up to this, that camera plugs into their RS-405 and then you just power the mains. So you take a mains power supply into there and into the socket and it literally is about 30 minutes and you do have this up and ready to go. And again, update the camera to the latest metal detector firmware, fit the black body, calibrate it, so an additional 30 minutes for that. So obviously once this is set up, you need to leave it for 90 minutes to stabilize in that environment anyway. And if you do want to use the metal detector, it's as simple as this. So you can go into the keypad. Let me just sort of show you. Uh, along here, lots of different options. Um, you can choose for the infrared, admin, frequency, application, security level, sensitivity. So you can log in here. And then you can adjust the sensitivity. Let's put it to 255, 255 on all areas. Right, so I've set this the sensitivity to 255, 255. So the highest sensitivity, and it is as simple as this. Now, if I go through this gate, so I've got uh, my metal belt on here. So if I take you back a bit, I've got a metal belt on as I walk through it. You can see alarms because it not I'm not over temperature but I have metal upon me. There we go. And that there is indicating around where the metal. So I've got metal on my shoes, I've got metal in my pocket, uh, coins, keys, metal on my belt. So you can sort of see visually where that is indicating. So I have two indicators, one because I got metal boots on down the bottom, plus I got metal, phone, keys, etc., in my pocket on this side with a metal belt all around that area. So it's a key visual indicator of where that object is. So if you're in an area where um, metal objects aren't allowed to be taken in or out, you can obviously add the metal detector function, change the sensitivity, and obviously use that secondary line as a security as well. So if it's like a core, uh, you know, like for guns, knives, uh, weapons, that kind of thing, like, you know, similar to an airport, I guess. Uh, you can use that function if you need to have that, add that layer of security. So it's a two-in-one device. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful. Any questions, please ask your really helpful DVS sales staff um, or Height Vision themselves. Wherever you are in the world, please stay safe. And my thoughts go out to everybody in America right now. I'll see you next week for another how-to video. Stay safe, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Take care, guys. Thank you.